Hey what's up guys it's Shashank from Technofusion here and in this video I'm going to show you how to uninstall any Linux operating system from dual boot and restore Windows bootloader after Linux loader has been deleted. So let's get started. First of all what we have to do is to open up the control panel and in the search of the control panel type format and click on create and format partitions and here in the list the drives formatted in NTFS are Windows drive partitions and the two drives without any file system are the Linux partitions which is not recognized by the Windows from which on one Linux is installed and the other is Linux web partition so go ahead and right click on the Linux web partition and click on delete volume and yes so the Linux web partition has been deleted now we will delete the partition in which Linux is installed so right click on the partition and again delete volume and click yes then as you can see that the both the deleted volumes have been merged into one volume and Linux is deleted so again right click on the partition and go for delete partition now if you want to use it as a separate drive right click on it and click on new volume then next next assign the drive letter again click next and finish and you have a separate drive created and also if you want to extend the existing partition right click on the C drive and go for extend volume and click on next next again and finish so that's all about deleting Linux now let's move towards restoring Windows loader so restart the computer and after restarting we can see here that it's showing grub error and that's because we deleted the grub loader along with Linux so now what we have to do is to insert Windows disk or USB drive or any other media on which Windows is installed and again reboot your computer and as soon as the computer boots on the BIOS screen look for shortcut key to open boot device selection menu and press it uh, in my case it's escape key now in the device selection menu select the media on which windows setup is present in my case it's a usb drive so selecting the drive and let the windows setup start now here click next on the screen and click on repair your computer then troubleshoot and go to advanced options and command prompt now here in the command prompt type bootrec.exe space slash fix mbr and press enter and the operation completed successfully now press up key and replace mbr with boot as I'm doing here and again press enter and close the command prompt and restart computer and if it works then it's fine but as here you can see that in my case it's not working so let's boot again to the disk and open command prompt following the same procedure as we did before and now this time in the command prompt type disk part and press enter and this will start the partition wizard now type list disk and press enter and it will list the disk with numbers 0, 1 and so on so type select disk followed by the number of the hard disk which in my case is 0 and so write select disk 0 and press enter and your disk will be selected now type list partition and, and press enter and similarly select the partition by typing select partition followed by its number and press enter now after this all is done we have to make the partition active so type active and press enter and close the command prompt and restart your system and it will just work fine so guys that's all for the video and if the video was helpful please give it a thumbs up and if it didn't work for you comment below and I will try to help you and be sure to subscribe to Technofusion for upcoming videos and thanks for watching